for you tonight. That's what I mean. Yes. All of you who have been here before, raise your hands. All right. Those of you who haven't been here before, keep your eyes on them. And when they run, you run. <laughs> You'll be safe. And it's nice to see all of you here. You know, make sure you bring more people back because if they put us in the bigger theater, then we can start doing explosions again. Bunny Gore! I, I created her in the lab. And I'm not happy about it. Rick Edison keeps, you know, destroying my uh, my my assistant. Uh oh, what's this? Oh, we got a delivery here. Daddy. Uh, a basket. Uh, wait, who's this from? Okay, W W. It's from Wilma Westinghouse. Wilma wants to be Nicola's girlfriend. You know, yes, she does. Yeah, but uh, un un unfortunately, Nicola, you've got nobody to love, so. Hey, hold that, and we'll take that down to uh, uh, the lab. And hang on, hang on. Let me make sure. Okay, good. I want to make sure there are no Easter egg food coloring packets in there because I don't want you to die. You can go ahead and go, go on down there, Bunny Gore. Take that down to the lab. Find a nice place for it, and don't eat it. Fine, Meanie. We've got a very important question for all of you here tonight. Do you guys want me to show trauma mixture? Show, Chroma pictures in with a regular lineup. Yeah. Yes. 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 Cannibal the Musical. Hell yeah. Now, Cannibal the Musical doesn't really have a monster. Are you guys okay with it not having a monster? Yes. Well, you're going to have fun with this one. I'm going to go down. I'll be back up intermission, and we'll talk about it then. Okay, it's time for the joke exchange. Oh, no! I, I gotta use the bathroom. I'll be back in a while. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Let me see. All right, Nicholas, Nicholas joke. All right, two missionaries walk into a bar in a cannibal village. And no, they're looking, they're coming in looking for a snack. And the bartender says, we're sorry, we don't serve food here. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, here's mine. Joss Whedon, George R. R. Martin, and Stephen Moffat walk into a bar. There were no survivors. <laughs> the invention this uh, time, I had put a camera. I, when, I, when I created Bunny Gore, I had an organic camera put into her uh, ears up here. So I'm going to test it out with you guys. I'm going to send her down into the lab. Can you check her real quick, make sure Bunny Gore is, is set up for this? I don't want to throw the switch on this and have her get electrocuted. I'm trying to be very protective of her. This anime has started this way. Head on down to the lab, Bunny Gore. Whatever. Twitch your uh, tail when you get down there and that should send the signal. If you like this, make sure you tell the theater when you leave. Tell them how much you enjoyed it. Oh, hey, there's Bunny Gore. Oh, it's fuzzy. Just the rabbit ears. All right, pan it around a little bit. Whoa, 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 pan that back. What was that? What was that? Ah! Um, a chocolate bunny. The delicious assassins, they used to be called. <laughs> your life could depend on this. Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. They're fast. Fast if you blink. Don't look away. Don't turn your back. Don't blink. Good luck. They have the most perfect defense mechanism ever evolved. They are quantum locked. They don't exist when they're being observed. When they're seen by any other living organism, they literally freeze into chocolate. 
in the sight of any living thing. They literally turn into chocolate. And you can't kill chocolate. Watch me! Ah, oh no, I hope she's okay. Honey, are you, are you okay? Uh -oh. It's a massacre. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. She's dead. But she died happy. The, the chocolate assassins may have had a uh, small fault in their, their logic there. I'm going to find out why Wilma sent the chocolate assassin. to make uh, bunnies scary. Come back here on May 10th when we have the Ohio premiere of the Late Night Double Feature, which is from our friend Christopher R. Mim. What are you doing? Uh, cadigram for Bunny Gore. Hello, Dick. It's Rick! I know what your name is. I mean, you've done enough. You already killed Bunny Gore. What are you coming back for? What, just to make sure? What do you mean Bunny Gore's dead? Look, you had even wrote, initialed the card, Wilma Westinghouse. I thought you liked Wilma. And no, no, you're, no. You just wait till I tell her, you're, what? It wasn't Wilma. It was Mario Marconi. Oh God, <laughs> not again. Hey, whoa, 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 hey. Where are you going? Uh, well, Bunny Gore's already dead. I'm, yeah, I, I thought it's going to reference or something. What, you, are you saying you did not kill Bunny Gore? Wow, I, I guess I can't be that mad at you then. This, this is a weird feeling. Yeah, I, I know, that feels kind of, yeah. Um, well, hey, how are you doing? I, I hear you've got a new roommate, Craig, right? Oh, don't mention it. I have to catch a ride with him. Buses don't run in my neighborhood. And he's terrible as a roommate. He's so sloppy. He, he, these beakers half full. I never know what one to drink. Uh, you never drink out of a beaker. Well, huh? All right. Well, that's so. Uh, well, I'm sorry about that. Um, I guess you could. No, no. Um, no. Uh, well, he sounds like a great guy. You should stick around with him. Right. Uh, I mean, he's probably waiting out front now. I told him I had to come in just long enough to do, deliver this and, and sneak away, and cackle evilly. And I'm still working on the act, evil, evil cackle. Well, it was it was it was good to see you this time. Um, uh, we'll come back. No, don't come back. But but you know, go go ahead, go ahead. Don't keep him leaving. Don't keep him waiting. Go ahead. Wow, that's that's so weird. He's so Mario Marconi. Mario Marconi. I I don't know much about him, but he seems kind of scared. So I might have to uh, come back next month for the late night double feature. And then in June, from the asylum, we have Mega Piranha. Woo! All right. Yes. yes. Now we are we're working. We're hoping hoping to get a promotion with another with a local fast food chain for that. But then in July we have House of the Wolfman. July twelfth we have House of the Wolfman. Yes. This is from Horror Royalty. It is from uh, Ron Cheney who is Lon Chaney's great-grandson. Good night, everyone! Science!